to Mental Math Edition, compliments for the number 10. Before we get started, let's review. What is mental math? Well, mental math is solving equations in your head. Traditionally, you are probably used to seeing equations written out on paper, like this one. 8 plus 3 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 4 plus 9 plus 2 plus 5 plus 1. And traditionally, you would probably start with your 8 and add on. You'd say 8 plus 3 is 11, 11 plus 5 is 16, and then you would just keep adding all of the numbers, and maybe you would show your work, show what you carry, and then you would write your answer at the end. That's the traditional way to solve an addition problem. Well, in mental math, what we will be doing is looking at equations like this doing a little calculation in our head and saying the answer out loud. It's a little bit different. All of the work to solve the equation is done in your head. And for this video, we are going to be practicing memorizing the complements for the number 10 to help us solve equations just like this one mentally in our head. Now, you might be thinking, well, what is a complement? In math, complements are numbers that fit together to make a complete whole. And for this class, we are going to be working with the complements for the number 10, because in mental math, 10 is a very friendly number. These numbers like 10, 20, 30, 40, numbers that end in zero, are much easier to hold in our head and work with. And for addition, if we can get to the number 10, that's going to make adding a lot faster and a lot easier for us because we can easily skip count by 10. So if we get to 10, then we can just skip count on 10, 20, 30, 40. You'll see what I mean when we start to add some of these longer addition problems in the next video. But for this video, let's practice memorizing the complements for the number 10. We're going to be learning the two numbers that fit together perfectly to total 10. Having the complements for 10 memorized is one of the most important skills that you will need to begin to be able to solve addition problems mentally in your head. Knowing your complements for 10 is also very helpful when solving equations the traditional way. I have a row of 10 blocks here on the screen. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I have a complete set of 10. Now, one of my blocks is shaded red. I have one red. If my total is 10, how many blue blocks will I have? If there's one red, how many blue? Well, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine blue blocks. One plus nine equals 10. One and nine are complements. They give us that complete set of 10. What if I have two red blocks? Now, how many blue blocks will I have? If my total is still 10, if I have two red, how many blue blocks? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two red blocks plus eight blue blocks gives us that total of 10. Two and eight are complements. What is my complement of the number three? What do I add to three to make 10? Well, let's count the blue blocks and see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three red blocks plus seven blue blocks gives us that total of 10. Three and seven are complements. How about four? I have four red blocks. How many blue blocks? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Four and six make 10. Four and six are complements. If I have five red blocks, how many blue blocks do I have? That's right, five. We can count them, one, two, three, four, five. But that's pretty easy, right? Half and half, five red, five blue. Five and five are complements to make 10. If I have six red blocks, how many blue blocks do I have? Let's count them, one, two, three, four. That's right, six plus four makes 10. Six and four are complements. If I have seven red blocks, how many blue blocks do I have? One, two, three. It's getting easier to see the number of blue blocks, isn't it? Seven plus three equals 10. Seven and three are complements. How about eight red? How many blue? 
That's right, only two. We can see two blue blocks right there. Eight red plus two blue equals 10. Eight and two are complements. And if I have nine red blocks, how many blue blocks? Just one, nine and one. Add together to make that complete set of 10. Nine and one are complements. Now, you might be thinking, well, this is pretty easy. I know how to add to 10, and that's really good. But I want you to take some time to memorize the complements for the number 10 so that these number pairs become instant for you. So that if you hear or see the number 1, you think 9, 2, 8, 3, 7, 4, 6, 5, 5, 6, 4, 7, 3, 8, 2, 9, 1. I want you to be able to come up with the complement for the number 10 that quickly. Because again, if you can get to 10 quickly, it's going to make addition so much faster for you and easier. Now, let's take some time to practice memorizing the complements. We will go in order so you can read them right off of the screen. I will say a number and I want you to tell me the complement. Just shout it out. Are you ready? I will say one and you tell me the complement. Ready? One, nine, two, eight, three, seven, four, six, five, five, six, four, seven, three, eight, two, nine, one. Very good. These are the compliments for the number 10. Now, I want you to notice something. If you know one through five, then you actually already know them all. Because in math, there's an important math property called the commutative property. And it sounds like a big word, but all it means is that we can change the order of the add-ins. The add-ins are the numbers we're adding together, like one and nine. These are the add-ins. You can change the order, put the nine first, add nine plus one, and it doesn't change the answer. You'll get the same total. They're the same numbers, one and nine, nine and one just in a different order, but my total is the same. So if I know one plus nine makes 10, then I know nine plus one makes 10. Look at two plus eight. We know two plus eight equals 10. Well, what if we put the eight first? Eight plus two also equals 10. It doesn't matter the order that I add. These numbers are the same. I can switch the order of the numbers and get the same total. Three and seven, these are the same numbers as seven and three. Four and six, they're the same numbers as six and four, just in a different order. But my answer or my total will be the same. Now, this becomes important and very helpful in mental math because sometimes, probably most of the time, we're not going to be adding in order. We're going to rearrange the equation to make it easier to solve in our head. Now, this is also helpful to remember just with any kind of addition because maybe you're looking at an equation and you see 8 plus 2 and you think, oh yeah, I know 8 plus 2, that equals 10. Or maybe you didn't know the answer yet, but you started with your 8, your larger number, and you count on 2, 9, 10, you can quickly come up with the answer. But what if you were looking at this equation, 2 plus 8, and maybe you didn't have that memorized yet, and you're thinking, oh, two is a small number and I have to add on a lot. I have to add on eight. Well, if you switch the order, eight plus two, you might realize, oh, I already know that. I know that's 10. So two plus eight is 10. Or just switching the order to start with your larger number makes adding a lot easier. So instead of adding two plus eight, switch it. Add eight plus two and you can quickly come up with the right answer. Okay. Now, let's take a little more time to practice our complements for the number 10. I have the numbers 1 through 9 on the screen. Let's start with the number 5, and I want you to tell me, what is my complement for the number 5? What do I add to 5 to get 10? 5 and 5. That's right. 5 and 5 are complements. How about 7? What's my complement of 7? 7 and 3 make 10. Very good. What's my complement of 6? 6 and Four make 10, excellent. And what is my complement for the number nine? Nine and one, very good. And what is the complement for the number eight? Eight and two, very good. Okay, let's try one more practice activity. Get these complements for the number 10 memorized. I'm going to bring up a number and I want you to shout out as quickly as you can the complement for that number. Are you ready? What number do I add to the number on the screen to total 10? Ready, go. What's my complement of seven? Three, very good. What's my complement of eight? Two, yes. What's my complement of five? 
five. Very good. What's my complement of nine? One. Excellent. And what is the complement of six? That's right. It's a four. Very good job. All right. Keep practicing these compliments for the number 10 at home. Just say them over and over again. One, nine, two, eight, three, seven, four, six, five, five, six, four, seven, three, eight, two, nine, one. The more you practice saying them, the faster you will get them memorized. And if you get these compliments for 10 memorized, in the next lesson, we're going to be using this strategy of finding those compliments for 10 and then adding our 10s together. And we're going to be able to solve some longer addition problems using this strategy. And we're going to be able to solve these equations mentally. I think mental math is a lot of fun and I really enjoy this strategy and I hope that you do too. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you will join me in the next lesson where we will practice some mental addition.